Hey, my name is Georgia. It's been a while since I've made a video on my channel and this year about two months ago I started a new job and it's a very it's a very like emotionally heavy job and I found myself in the past two months really struggling. Feel like I've lost touch with myself and with the things that make me happy. I can't keep going on like this so I need to figure out a way to enjoy my days and not just come home and rot five days a week and do nothing and not interact with anyone and be anti-social. I've had a lot of friends move away recently so there's also a lack of social support there. So I'm trying to do things that make me happy and force myself to get out there after work because I can't sacrifice myself for the good of my job. So I made a list of things that I can do to try to feel happy. <laughs> the first thing on my list, this is my list right here, is videos. So I mean I, I haven't posted in a while and I really enjoy it and what happened was in the past is I got overwhelmed, I got burnt out and I stopped and I, similar to now, it's like I lost touch with myself so I'm really trying to get back into it. So that's why I'm making this video. Also I think this video can hold myself accountable. So that's the first thing on the list. One of the things when I started work I was I said like everyone else and they're having their quarter life crisis signed up for a half marathon because I thought running would solve my life and it has you know and my problems haven't gone away I still have issues with work and finding myself outside of work so I'm thinking maybe if I shift running to the morning I'll get that hit of endorphins earlier in the day and then I don't know maybe that'll work but the other issue is is I just switched my shift from 8 to 4 30 to 7 30 to 4 and it's like a 45 minute commute so I need to leave my house by 6 45 the latest so right now I'm waking up at 6 so I'm gonna need to wake up at 5 probably to run and then shower and then get ready for work this morning I tried that and I got fully dressed and looked outside and it was pitch black and got back in bed so that's not gonna work so we're gonna take baby steps we're gonna start with waking up early and going on a walk and just do that at least three days a week or something just to try it I just need to try it and then another one is fun food I have a very small budget I don't really have a, earn a lot of money I have a few rules with myself where it's like I don't eat out unless it's like a treat and I'll go to Chipotle or something but that's like once every few weeks and then I I try to eat healthy but then also be mindful of my grocery budget so I'm I'm going to branch out a little bit more not worth it to save the money anymore I want to read more I've I've stopped reading as much as I used to like I have all these books behind me so I I want to read them um it's Halloween season so I want to get into reading you know Stephen King which you know horror books might not necessarily make me happy but we'll see how it goes i'm an artistic person but i'm not like a good artist but it, like four years ago i took a painting class and i have like all of my paint from there i mean it might be dried out i don't know how long it is but i'll try to paint more that's something to do i have two more things so one is keep my apartment clean i think environment is very indicative of how you're doing and my apartment has been a mess just because i haven't been able to bring myself to clean it and maintain it so i need to do that and then i wrote one thing after work so i think i just need to get out of my apartment at least one time after work i can't just come here and do nothing and not interact with anybody i don't even need to leave to interact with someone but i think even just going on a walk might help me i'm really desperate to find something that will work to find like my spark again or whatever we'll see how these are like I said I'm making these videos because I think making the videos themselves will help me but also to hold myself accountable because it is so easy to say no I'm not gonna do that but if I'm making a video if I'm gonna put it out there I need to stick through it I also feel like I should say because I didn't say this it's currently 521 Tuesday October 15th so this is me starting it and I'll show on video one thing every day that will try to make me whole again we'll see I don't know hello I'm gonna bend down because that's the angle that I set up. I was in Trader Joe's. I just thought it would be fun to show you what I got. So I got these crunchy curls, which I, I love these. These are delicious. Um, I actually always buy these, so this isn't a treat, but I bought sparkling water. Trader Joe's has really good ones. I got these Stevia pumpkin spice drops, not from Trader Joe's. I got them from Amazon, but a few days ago, but I, I would include them because I think that they're fun and festive. I've been looking at these and I haven't bought them because they're like out of my budget. These are freeze dried tart, tart cherries. They just seem good. These chocolate cats, I love these. These are delicious. 
this dried mango from Trader Joe's. It's the best. Soft and juicy mandarin. I always see this hanging in the store and I'm always like, I'm curious what this tastes like. So I got these and I hope these are delicious because I love oranges. Or I guess mandarins aren't oranges. And then, yeah, this is my last item. I got the non-dairy pumpkin oat beverage because I'm not usually a PSL girl, but I think this year for some reason I like pumpkin a lot more than usual and I got this pumpkin spice stuff. So I think this might be a really good like coffee breakfast to treat. So I don't know. It's nice to have little snacks to look forward to to get you through the day. I am a big believer in sweet treat and sometimes it's not about necessarily making something homemade from scratch and it's not necessarily about you know the budget and saving the money but you just have to try new things. So this something I'm looking forward to. All of these things were $23.13. So I'm just telling myself $23 for some snacks to look forward to is worth it. It's okay. It's $20. $20 will come back in my life again. This is my current filming setup. Trying to make reels. So check them out. Protein bar candle, meal prep, meal prep, beyond burgers. Just simply notice. This practice gives us an opportunity. So I look a little crazy because I just finished yoga and I ran earlier. Oh my gosh, you can see how messy my apartment is back there. I'm, my plan is to clean that later. And when I was doing yoga, I already am like excited about doing this. I think making this video is like giving me a purpose and something to do, which I think provides a lot of value in life. I was kind of thinking about what the theme of this week is because I'm just making myself take it week by week. And I think this week is just finding equilibrium and bringing myself up because right now I'm really down and I think sometimes people can be more up and then need to come a little bit down. So for me, it's finding this equilibrium. One thing I think I am good about is like staying a little bit active and I have, I go to yoga pretty regularly and I'm trying to get into running, which is failing. But I think some people tend to look at movement as almost a cure-all. If you're active, it will heal you. And I just don't agree with that. I think it can add value to your life for sure, but it won't solve everything. I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there because I think just because I'm doing this like this, this isn't necessarily anything that's gonna help me and I just know that for myself but I'm gonna keep up movement because if I don't I might go even farther down my plan for the rest of the night like my activity for tonight is to clean my apartment I'm counting this as a win most of the clothes the only thing is like I didn't put these away because I don't have enough hangers right now so I need to figure out hangers I might actually send a message in my buy nothing neighborhood group because I feel like everyone is always giving away hangers I did all my dishes this is just soaking because I roasted some carrots for dinner that got stuck to the pan but I packed my lunch for tomorrow this is my lunch breakfast and then snack and snack I'm all prepped to leave tomorrow so I can wake up and go on a walk and not worry about getting back here at a certain time to pack my lunch. So I think I'm gonna set my alarm for 5.30, maybe 5.15, and then go on a walk until like 6.15, try to be back by 6.15, and then quickly get changed and go to work. I have my clothes all laid out over here as well. Like that's what I'm gonna wear. I mean, I laid out, they're just on my chair. So I feel prepped for tomorrow and hopefully the walk in the morning will be good, but I'll check it with you then about how I'm feeling about waking up. This morning was a total fail. I didn't sleep last night from 3.30 to 5. When 5 to 5.30 rolled around, I was like, no, I'm going to try to sleep. So then I slept for another hour. So we'll try again tomorrow and see what happens. It is what it is. New video because this is really funny. My mom randomly sent two things on Shutterfly. She's like, oh, I know you needed to pick me up. So for some reason, bless her heart, this is what she got me. So the first one is this book where my family took a trip this summer, right? I was like, oh, it'll be cute family photos. Meanwhile, I open it up. It's all photos of me. It's like just photos of me. And I love her, but like, I don't need a full book of me. I was like, this is a cute one, but like, mom, like, I thank you. But what is that? Ooh, who is she? Oh. Uh. Anyway, uh, this one, it's like, it keeps going, it keeps going. So I think this is hilarious. So that, this is the first thing she sent me. And then the other one is this, and I think it's a mug, but I haven't opened it yet. So I thought I would do an unboxing. I'll figure out how to open this. I, I really appreciate this. You know, sometimes you do need a, a pick me up like this. Star home is so bad for the environment. They need to stop shipping with it but they didn't ask me. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, 
here it is. So here we have a mug. It says Georgia with a photo of me, of course, in case I forgot what I look like. And then it says best daughter ever. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Oh, this is like such a mom gift. It's later. It's Wednesday, October 16th, 8.24 p.m. I should be going to bed soon, but I'm not because I'm going to make some pumpkin spice bread. I haven't baked in a while, so this will be good. I have this one. It's like on my fridge. I have double this recipe at least. I just don't really have good a good like muffin tin right now. So I'm going to have to do a loaf. We'll see how it comes out. So before I make the pumpkin spice stuff, I I know the audio of the previous clips have been bad. So I put in a different mic that I had. It's like a cheap mic from Walmart. So it might not actually be better, but we'll try it out and we'll see if it's any better when I'm editing this video. It's the next day, it's the 17th at 6.30. I got back from work, I went for a run. You can see my couch is already messy. That's like a bunch of coats and stuff. My plan for tonight is I'm going to like a, like a free yoga class at the Arcteryx store randomly that's near me. I've never done anything like this before. I think it's gonna be like an easy, like restful flow. I, I thought I, it would just be something fun to do. I'm going by myself, so it'll be scary. And it's from 7.30 to 9.30, so that's also scary. Apparently they're gonna give us like swag. I think it'll be like a towel or something, but we'll see. And I'll let you know how it is after. I, this is very nerve wracking for me to do by myself. Also, I just want to say I went on like the best run ever. It was beautiful gold. I actually listened to One Direction music the whole time because Liam Payne died last night and that's One Direction was my childhood. So that was really sad. I was actually like very upset yesterday. That's why part of the reason why I made the pumpkin bread. Oh, I don't know if I said, so the pumpkin bread turned out okay. I'll share the recipe. It is spicy, so just be aware. I love spicy, so it's good. And I used olive oil instead of salted butter, which I usually do. Use salted butter because number one, it wasn't salty enough. And I think just like butter would have been a bit of a better flavor. So I'm just walking back right now. It was a good class, actually a really good class. Really nice that it's free. I didn't talk to a single person, but I'm proud that I went. So that's a win. And they gave us beanies as a gift. I'll show it to you when I get back to my apartment. I'm gonna go home and make some nachos. That's my plan for the rest of the evening, which I think is a win. This is the audiobook I'm currently listening to. It's pretty good. A lot of BA Paris is stuff is good. I pass a lot of my time by listening to audiobooks. So <laughs> is the beanie that they gave us. Like on it, it actually says it's $45. So if this is actually like something to sell, this is a very nice gift. I'm not a big beanie person, but like, I think you always need hats. I like literally came in and immediately started recording. Let's do a bit of an unboxing, right? My hair's in a ponytail, which isn't really beanie. Oh my gosh, yeah. Don't, don't eat that. This is like fully, it has like the tag and everything. Oh my gosh, and it's fleece lined. Wait, this is actually such a nice gift that they gave us. Actually, I will wear this and it's navy blue, like super dark navy and I love navy. I'm not really a hat person. <laughs> So, oh wow, look at that. Okay, pretend the tag is in here. It'll keep my head warm. That's all you could ask for, right? And it, it's free. Actually, it's growing on me. I think this could work. Now that I look ridiculous, I'm gonna go make some nachos. They're gonna be very loosely nachos. I have these pumpkin tortilla chips. They just, they're just what I have. And then I meal prepped like a quinoa bean salad. So I'll put that on top. The only cheese I think could work that I have is like I have a block of cheddar cheese. So I'm gonna try to grate it on top even though I have like a really bad grater. That's what I'm craving right now. So I'm gonna make this meal work. And then I'm gonna eat that and go to bed because it's already 8.53 and that's, it's already past my bedtime, but a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> a.m. I'm reporting to you live from my car. Friday is a work from home day for me. I 
Okay, I guess you're not gonna see me. I just don't know where to put my, my camera. But they're doing road work on my street. Fully, all of the spots are non-existent, which is hundreds of car spots. And in my neighborhood, like I can park overnight from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m., but I can't park there during the day. So there's like, I don't know where I'm gonna keep my car because all of the meters, like I would pay a meter, it's fine, whatever. Like I have to pay, you know, 20 bucks for the day, which is ridiculous, but like I would do it. But like the meters are two hours, so I can't even go there and I have to work and I can't be leaving work and then coming back because I need to move my car and I it's 7 16 I need to start work at 7 30 so I'm on the lookout for a spot right now I did a bit of a stroll to get here so this is my way of saying that look I finally got up and walked around please have a spot yes I found a spot holla the thing is too is they're still doing road work here but like this whole street doesn't have any no parking signs. So technically, I think I can park here. They can't give me a ticket. I'm sure I'll come out tomorrow. And there, I just did a whole parallel parking job. Sorry, this is me pre coffee This is bad. Probably come out tomorrow to new signs. But I can leave my car here during the day with no additional charge. Thank God. I think I've paid. Well, I got a parking ticket this week. City of Boston parking. You're the worst. Number one. Um, but I think everyone knows that. The Trader Joe's bags here literally have a parking ticket on the bottom of them because everyone gets parking tickets. Every day after work, I've had to pay like $4. So four times four is 16. So I paid like almost $60 this week. So it is now 7.22. I have to head home and go start work. I'm happy I got out of my apartment early so I count that as a win even if it was to move my car. The joy of work from home, I t it takes a lot less long to get ready so I'm not not really stressed about that. And then my work phone here so I can start to respond to emails. I'll see you later. Okay, don't mind me. I am working from bed until I have my meeting in an hour, but I just wanted to check in because this was next to me. I am currently reading The Tommy Knockers by Stephen King. I know one of my goals for this week was to read more, so I think this is what I'm trying to do. Sorry, my camera ran out of battery and then I just had some stuff to do for work, so it's a bit later, but I'm on page 144 and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've only had like one or two nightmares from this book, so that's good. And this is the first Stephen King book I've read. It is much later. I have some great news. Um, I just went on a run, my longest run ever. It's also the longest run of my half marathon training, 12 and a half miles. And I lived, I survived, but oh my God, do my legs hurt right now? Like something, my, my muscles are, strengthening that's for sure but i i did it i survived um but my plan was earlier when i was finishing my run that i would go and get a bread bowl because i have soup that i need to eat tonight and then like have like a bread bowl but my legs are so tired where it's like i don't even want to go do that i am probably gonna stay in here for the rest of the night so no bread bowl it is i don't know what i'm gonna have instead because i really want carbs i'm not gonna lie maybe see like i wish i had mozzarella like maybe i'd make pizza but i don't know i'm gonna have to see what i have and do it but like i even ran the entire run with God, my knees hurt money and stuff so we'll keep you updated with what i have for dinner my legs are not feeling like i can walk the 15 minute walk to the grocery store there and back so it'd be 30 minutes i'm not gonna do that to myself I'm feeling good and happy though because the work week is done. I decided that my need for bread outweighs the pain in my legs and my patience to make something homemade. So I am gonna go. That was a trek for me. I was like walking back and it was touch and go there for a second. But they didn't have like specific small bread bowls, which I was kind of expecting because I think that's a very specific request. But here is my haul. I got, I, this was a, a splurge buy. Cut fruit is too expensive and I never buy it, but I'm proud of myself for surviving the 12 and a half miles. So I got it. And then I got this cause I don't know, I thought the vitamins would be good, but I guess this is basically just sugar water anyway. 
And then I got bread. I got Iggy's bread. This is good. This is actually local. To my knowledge, it's local. And it's delicious. So I'm going to have this. Have some dinner. I'm feeling so much better now. I think I needed to eat, which is why I was, like, feeling so ill. So I had the soup and the bread, which was phenomenal. And then... It was like a quinoa chili that I had, and I just feel like I need more protein after a big workout like that, so I, I made a yogurt bowl for dessert with the fruit. So, it looks ugly. I'll show it to you, but can't judge me. It's, it's chocolate. And chocolate and peanut butter, and then it has chocolate protein powder, which is why it looks like mud, and then this is just the fruit. Now I am watching Great British Baking Show and then making some tea and then I might edit some videos and then probably go to sleep. This is a crazy Friday night. I mean, clearly I have a robust social life. But I will say, I, I think this week has been good. I really enjoyed like making this video and these videos. But I might do it again next week, we'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna edit it and, oh yeah, some of the th one of the things I'm editing tonight is I went on like, a month long, seven week long solo trip this summer after I graduated grad school before I started my job. And I did some vlogging. I mean, it was half solo, half with a friend. So I did some vlogging and yeah, I'm starting to edit those. So I'm gonna post them. I mean, they're not really gonna be like relevant in the timeline like from <laughs> July but I'm gonna post them for my you know just to post them I think they're fun except the first few I've started and the audio is really bad like really really bad so it'll probably be some voiceovers and stuff I'll, I'll post this first and then get into that so this is kind of just a recap of the week I think my favorite part of the week was just taking these videos and having something to document <laughs> which is very fun when I'm through editing these I mean I didn't there's a few things I didn't get to do this week like I didn't get to paint I did read Stephen King oh I also finished the audiobook I was listening to called The Guest I think it's The Guest by B.A. Paris let me check yeah The Guest by B.A. Paris I've read a few of B.A. Paris's books and I've liked them I've given them probably like three out of five stars which is an average rating for me but this one was not my cup of tea like for me at least I like a book that tends to have more action in the middle the conclusion is developed as it's going and this one was kind of like it had the whole story and then there was like one person recapping everything they did it's it's harder to stay engaged for me that way that's that's how i feel about that i thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it if you did i mean i don't really expect anyone to watch it so if someone did i that means a lot to me yeah i'm sorry my life isn't very exciting i'll see you next time i guess thank you for watching